I am currently in my kitchen and um, I'm drinking, it's like a cheap lamb sip and eating porridge because as you can hear my voice is finished and my hair is tied down because I'm going back to bed very, very shortly, very soon. But yeah, I filmed another video and then I remembered how I have a funny story to tell you guys. Okay, so I hope it doesn't go on for too long because I'm tired and my feet's gonna get cold. But yeah, this is the story of when I went to see J. Cole in Paris and lost my tickets on the day of the concert. Yeah, so this was 2015. I was in my year abroad. I was actually in Spain at the time um, for the second half of the year. And J. Cole had just announced that he was gonna do a Europe tour and I was down. I was down like South, I'm telling you. J. J. Cole's like my favorite rapper in the world. Um, and yeah, so I, I remember asking some of my friends that were in France, at the time that we're in Paris, if they wanted to go. And my friend Chris, he's from Atlanta in America. He was like, I've never heard of J. Cole before, but I'm willing to go. And I was like, a real one, a trooper. Taking one for the team so we'd have a reunion because Chris was my friend that I met when I was in France studying in the first semester. And we just clicked, like he's just so lit. He's just such a great person. Um, and my friend Mimi, Mimi's like my sister. Um, she was also on her year abroad cause we, were, we met at uni. So we were both on our year abroad. And so we, we decided we're gonna link up in Paris. I'm laughing already cause this story is shambolic. Okay, we decided we were gonna link up in Paris. Um, so I had to get the plane from Spain. I was in Salamanca at the time, so I had to take a coach two hours to Madrid, then take a plane to Paris, Charles de Gaulle, the airport is horrible, bruv. Um, Charles de Gaulle, and then my plane was delayed by like an hour or so. So like Mimi was in um, Gare du Nord, which is like notorious for having all these old uncles, like, just being disgusting and pervy and like, everyone's always saying like, Cardinal, you'll get stop, you'll get your stuff stolen at that station, but it's really because there's loads of Africans there. Um, that's really why they say it, but it is quite scary, like when you're a girl as well and you're just there like, help. But, um, yeah, like she was getting chatted up by some weird uncle who was like offering her like hella euros to come home with him. It's not funny, but it's funny. <laughs> not funny, but it's funny. So Mimi. And um, yeah, so I and we at the time were communicating via iPod Touch because we didn't want to like waste our credit because we were both from the UK. So we were like on FaceTime and then the service kept cutting out. So even when I got to Garden Nord, I couldn't figure out where she was. And so when we finally all linked up, me, Chris and Mimi, we went back to his house in Paris because he was living in Paris at the time. And because he had stayed the whole year in Paris as well, he had such a great knowledge of like the city and the tourist sites and stuff. And he really... Like, he really gave us a good tour. Like, I felt like I had some closure leaving France because I actually got to be a tourist instead of, like, struggling with all the modules I was studying um, at the time. So it was it was really lit. And we went to these catacombs. So they're, like, um, graves underground. I can't remember for who, whether they're soldiers or just people. But, yeah, they were, like skulls and like bones and stuff underground and they were like the ceiling was like dripping i think it was like either condensation or like stalactites but i'm thinking i don't think stalactites and stalactites can occur i can't remember it was a long time ago it's three years ago now my porridge is getting cold but yeah um 
yeah, we were in those catacombs or whatever, and then we were um, kind of sightseeing. So we had to collect the tickets for the J. Cole concert at a supermarket, Carrefour. And so we went and got them, and then we were sightseeing like the whole day. And Mimi had her ticket separately because she was in France, so she was able to collect hers from her local Carrefour. <laughs> And then me and Chris, I was responsible for me and Chris's tickets. And these tickets were like 60 euros each. And I didn't have money like that, but it was J. Cole, so I had money. <laughs> I would pay money for J. Cole. Like, that's just how it is. And um, so, yeah, I, I remember we got back to Chris's flat after a great day. I was checking my bags the concert was on a Sunday and this is important because in France a lot of things close on a Sunday shops offices banks everything like in the UK obviously banks close on Sunday but you can still go to shops a lot of shops will be open till like 6 p.m. or like 5 p.m. depending on the city um, but like nothing was open so we were calling so when I realized we didn't have our tickets we were calling up the ticket office and no one was answering. And so I was panicking. No, in fact, I wasn't panicking until the day of the concert because I was like, I'm just gonna have to buy tickets again. I was like, I can't let Chris pay for tickets that he's already paid for when we both don't have money like that. And on top of that, like he wouldn't have gone to the J. Cole concert if it wasn't for me. So I couldn't make him pay extra money to go and see the love of my life well one off because my bae but i didn't know my bae back then so obviously j cole was my bae from day um so yeah we we had to go to the con so we had to go to the concert venue it was um olympia i think so we had to go from his flat sorry there was something on my tongue his flat to um olympia where the concert was stad olympia and um we weren't sure if we found the place and then we saw a line of hella black people and we were like, okay, we found it. In my whole time in, in France, um, I didn't see that many black people like in a concentrated area and young people as well. So we knew we found the venue and we got there early and we were just dressed like whatever. Um, we got there early and we asked them like what to do about the tickets and they were like, well, you just have to buy new ones. And if anyone returns them, we'll let you know. I was like, okay. So we had to rush back to his, change, put on like our nice outfits. I was wearing one slinky dress. I'm gonna try and see if I can get the picture up and like link it. In fact, I'm gonna link you the Instagram post. It might be on my old Instagram. Okay, I'll put it on my new Instagram and I'll link it. But yeah, it was mad. Um, my eyebrows were hella wonky as well because I get bitten by like mosquitoes and everything everywhere. So like, I could literally, it was literally in Paris and I got a bite here, I got a bite here. It was just butters that was as ugly for you guys that aren't from the UK, it was ugly. And so I had to pencil my eyebrows like around the, ugh, it was horrible. Obviously, Jermaine loved it. And Janae Aiko loved it too, um, she was the opening act. And so when we were in the queue, so we had to rush back to the venue. <coughs> oh, excuse me. We had to rush back to the venue and then buy tickets. And then, so we were queuing up. And then, because Mimi still had her ticket, we were like, okay, Mimi, you stay in the queue. We made friends with this cool girl from Canada. She's a bit reckless, but let me not even talk about that. That's a story for another day. But um, I went and bought the tickets for me and Chris. And then when I went and paid for them, I told the woman my name and she was like, oh, Livon, that's a weird name. We were speaking in French and she was like, that's a weird name. I was like, yeah. And uh, it's funny because everyone in the UK and everywhere else thinks my name's French when it's not. And then I went to France and everyone was struggling to pronounce it, which was ironic, but yeah. And then when I was in the queue, we were just standing up, chilling, waiting for the doors to open. And then somebody came rushing over to me and she was like, oh, Levon and I was thinking, how does she know my name? Because there's so many people in the queue. Why would she remember my name? And she had the tickets that we lost in her hand. And it had a handwritten note. And the note was like, um, I have the note somewhere in my house. 
the note was like, um, I real uh, you you lost these. I think it said something like, you lost these, and it seemed like they were the only reason that you were in Paris. So I wanted to make sure that you got them. Good luck and enjoy your stay, Adeline. And it left her phone number as well. And honestly, I could have cried. I was so happy because I didn't have money. Like, I paid for the new tickets knowing that when I went back to Spain, like, I might not have had food for the next two weeks. But because it's J. Cole, I was prepared. And I just knew it was going to be okay anyway. And when they gave me those tickets back, I was gobsmacked. I was like, ah! and then they went and gave me an instant refund um, back on my card. And I was just like, boy, life is crazy. So we got in the concert. It was amazing. It was, so, we were so close to the front. Oh, let me not even get emotional, but it was amazing. And afterwards, um, there was like the merch on the wall and they had like Dreamville hoodies. <coughs> Excuse me. And for those who don't know, Dreamville is like J. Cole's brand. Um, and he's got like merchandise, but it's also his like record label. Just Google it because I'm going to start standing and you're going to be like, chill, relax. And I'm going to not be able to. But yeah, there was like one hoodie left on that wall and it was extra large. And there was this girl I was talking to. She was like American and we were chatting and I was like, ah, oh, all the merch is sold out. And there were loads of Americans there because there were loads of Americans studying in Paris at the time as well. And um, my porridge is cold right now. But yeah, um, I was saying to her, I wonder if the display one is one that they also sell. And then I was like, do you know what I'm gonna ask? But she couldn't really speak French in it, but I could, so, well, I can. So, excuse me, I went to the lady and I was like, <laughs> est-ce que je peux acheter? <laughs> and I was asking her like, you know, can I buy the one off the wall? And she was like, it's the last one. I was like, yeah, but can I buy it? And she was like, yeah, 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 I guess. It was 60 euros for that hoodie. And I, I bought it and I bought a poster that was like clearly a photocopied, blown up version of the tour, you know, the tour poster that they put on Instagram. But I was like, I'm buying everything today. And I put that hoodie on and I, it was, it's, it's so long that it like covered the dress. My dress was kind of short too. It covered the dress I was wearing. And then we were taking pictures on the train on the way back home. Um, and it was just the best day ever because it was just one of those days where like everything goes wrong but it works out in the end. And it was crazy, like best day ever. Well, I've had better days since then, but at the time it was like the best experience ever. And it was just it was just amazing. And I'm gonna like link video footage as well to like the concert I was probably screaming in it I'm always screaming in concert videos like my voice is louder than the concert but you'll soon find out that that's how I am so it's whatever but yeah I'm gonna put that in the description box and yeah life is crazy but stay saucy also if you like story time just let me know on insta so that I can do a couple more story times with my friends on um, on my channel for the future episodes. Also, I have a very interesting podcast that I featured on that is coming out very soon. So make sure you're um, like following my Instagram, Twitter and Facebook because that's where I'll be posting it. And I'm really excited to share it because it's basically about personal development. And since this story that I just told you was on my year abroad. It kind of relates to that. So yeah, I hopefully I can breathe in the next video. But yeah, chin chin, stay saucy. <laughs>